a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about single stock ETFs. And uh, in last week's video, I mentioned some interesting new ETFs, and I also talked about some interesting new trends. And the trend which has grabbed most headlines this year is the launch of these single stock ETFs. Uh, these, as the name suggests, uh, help investors make bet on or against a stock. Uh, so these were first launched in Europe in 2018, and Europe has about 200 single stock ADPs, including some 3x and minus 3x products on popular stocks. In the US, uh, 22 single stock ETFs have launched so far. And uh, though the SEC approved these products, uh, they issued a number of warnings. Uh, officials made a lot of comments about risk of these products. And, uh, you know, when we are talking about single stocks, there is no limit to the number of products that are possible. Uh, they, there are about 200 more already in registration. Some interesting ones uh, make uh, help investors make uh, bets uh, on uh, popular foreign stocks that do not have ADRs uh, in trading in the US, and those would be convenient. So like if you want to bet on uh, Saudi Aramco or Samsung, those ETFs would uh, be really convenient. Uh, then there are some interesting inverse uh, ETFs uh, on uh, single meme stocks like um, GameStop, AMC, and Robinhood. So we will see a lot of developments in this area. Now, what investors should remember about these ETFs, uh, you can use these ETFs to make a short-term bullish or bearish bet against a single stock. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, regulators have warned about the risk of these uh, ETFs. Uh, and it, it is always good to have more products uh, because investors have the flexibility of using those products. And uh, so these are powerful uh, instruments, but they should be used only by investors who understand them properly. They should be used for very short term, they are not meant for buy and hold investing. One potential use that I can think of is hedging against uh, company specific events or some particular market event. So for example, if you hold already hold shares of Tesla in your portfolio and Tesla is expected to come out with its earnings, which may not be favorable, you believe. So as a short term, you can use these ETFs uh, uh, to hedge against uh, that particular move. Uh, now, there are other ways of uh, shorting stocks, uh, but not all investors are uh, familiar with those ways. They do not have margin accounts. They are not very familiar with shorting using uh, futures or other instruments. Uh, so ETFs are a convenient wrapper, but again, these should be used very carefully. One thing which investors should remember that uh, these are balanced daily. So if you hold it for more than a day, then you could do much worse than what you would expect, particularly if the underlying stock is very volatile. Uh, you could also get better than what you expect if the stock is trending and low volume. Uh, but again, these should be used for short-term trading only. Uh, and very short-term trading. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, ETFs that we currently have in the US. So Excess was the first one to launch the single stock leverage ETFs. Uh, the one Tesla Bear ETF, TSLQ, which as the name suggests, provides inverse one-time inverse exposure to Tesla shares uh, and rebalances daily, TSLQ. This 
is the most popular so far. This has already gathered uh, about uh, 45 million in assets. And we know that Tesla stock uh, is uh, has its uh, haters and lovers. People love to bet on or against Tesla. So that is the reason why this has uh, seen most interest so far. But X is also offers uh, inverse and leverage products on other popular stocks like Nvidia, PayPal, Nike, and Pfizer. Uh, and you can take a look at uh, Tesla Bear ETF that I mentioned, which has uh, gained a maximum amount of attention, interest, and this is doing very well today because the market is plunging after the CPI report. Uh, Direction also launched some ETFs. So Direction products uh, help you make bull or bear 1x, uh, minus 1x or 1.5x uh, bets on popular stocks like Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Tesla. Granite shares has also launched some ETFs. Uh, so among uh, the ETFs that they have is 1.75 long Apple and uh, 1.5x uh, Coinbase and also 1.25x uh, Tesla, short Tesla. These are the ETFs launched by Grand Shares. But as I mentioned, uh, we will see many more such ETFs uh, in the coming months. And it's always good for ETF investors to have more choice. But these products should be used very, very carefully. Check out sax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And also make sure to subscribe to our videos. And I'll see you next week.